Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we've got another Destiny 2 video. Now obviously this went live last night but I was absolutely cream crackered so I just went straight to bed. I'm sorry about that. And if you already are 100% aware of what's going on in Destiny because you've read the update or watched another YouTuber do this and you still tuned in to me, you are the greatest. Thank you very much your support is absolutely fantastic so keep going with that and i'll keep making these videos for you so we're going to go into it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to announce the january updates or future updates first that way we can get that out of the way and then just go from there basically so i'm going to do it a little bit different than probably most so we're going to start off with the january updates so there's going to be more incentive to complete prestige activities so at the moment with prestige activities you have like with, especially with the nightfall at least pretty much the only thing you get is a blue ring around your head and you only keep that for a week so like the incentive to actually grind for that is unless you want the challenge it's really not worth it so it'd be interesting to see what extra rewards you get for doing that i've not completed the prestige raid but i know that you get new armor um, new arm or ornaments for it that give you like some sort of like purple glow I don't know whether the rewards are that worth it to be honest I know when it first dropped there was a lot of like mm, you know it's really not worth doing the prestige raid with so little rewards so it'd be quite interesting to see what rewards you actually get what I do know is that with masterworks which I'll explain a, a little bit in the video later that you'll get a higher chance of getting one of these mods for the weapon well one of these um, weapons sorry moving on from there we are going to go to rewards for the adventures and the lost sectors are actually on Bungie's radar but they are not deemed a priority at the moment so as you may have seen in my annoyingly pointless video lost sectors were one of my you know big grievances basically i expected a bit more of a challenge maybe a bit more like i don't know better loot i guess like getting blues constantly is really annoying all i'm doing is dismantling them anyway and getting gunsmith telemetry for it like i don't really need it to be honest like i'm ranking up on the gunsmith but i'm doing exactly the same thing it's like a vicious circle like You'll get a weapon that you've already had a million times and don't really like, and you'll just dismantle it for the parts, and then you'll you'll repeat the cycle. It'll just keep giving you weapons that you don't want, and over and over. So, like that would be quite, I don't know, interesting to see how they go about introducing that in the new year. Well, not in the new year, but further on down the line. Like some of the problems that are in Destiny 2 at the moment are not going to get fixed within the next few months. And we have to come to terms with that. And, you know, as long as they're fixing some parts now, then we, I'm hoping it'll build the player base back up. Because at the moment, like, I seem to be the only one out of my clan playing Destiny at the moment. Like, everyone's gone off and playing other things because they don't want to come back to Destiny at the moment. There's absolutely nothing for them. So I'm hoping with the December updates, like for the 5th and the 12th, and then obviously in the new year and further on down the line that we're just going to get everything that we want in the game at the moment the end game is pretty lacking in everything every kind of aspect of the game um also coming in the new year is ranked pvp apparently this is at the top of their list because a lot of people have complained about the pvp just being god awful basically now i don't know if this will benefit the casual pvp player like myself like, I only normally play it if Iron Banner's on. I don't normally play it if, let's say, like, I've got nothing else to do during the, the game. I am pretty much a, a PvE player. So, for me, it's not... I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a big enough change for me. But I might be wrong. Um, I am looking forward to getting some of the armor uh, ornaments, though, for the Crucible. So, I may end up doing a lot more, so maybe a, a rank pvp will actually be more beneficial to me i don't know we'll have to just see they're also implementing a quitter penalty now that i'm not i'm gonna hold my hands up here and there's been a couple of times where i've rage quit 
just because I was fed up of fucking dying every five minutes. Honestly, like, I don't know how people can play it constantly. PvP, for me, is an absolute nightmare. So this is part of the reason I won't play anything like Dark Souls, because dying constantly is not, it's not fun for me. <laughs> you know, I like playing games for fun, like... I don't like dying constantly, so, you know, it gets a bit ragey sometimes. So, I have raged quite a few times, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of punishment you get for doing this. Also, they are putting a protection on the exotics. So, what they're doing is stopping you from getting, like, duplicates of everything. Because at the moment, that is so irritating. Like, if you've got a few exotics you need to hand in and... You still got exotics you haven't collected yet. Like, it's so frustrating when you get the same one three times. It's like, oh, honestly, it enrages me. Luckily, I'm one of the, probably the few that have actually got all the exotic weapons. I've still got a few more armor sets to collect, so this will be quite interesting. This also ties in with Zer, which also I'll go into detail a bit later on, um, about he's got like fated engrams so if there's any exotics that you're missing it will get it for you basically but you have to hand in your legendary shards and change it that way so you know it, it, it's implementing that sort of excitement when Zer's here if there's uh, an exotic you haven't got yet do you know what I mean plus I'm hoping with the new updates as well especially with the Curse of Osiris that they're going to be bringing in a lot more exotics at the moment it's so easy to attain uh, the exotics, but not get duplicates, if you know what I mean. It's it's quite, I don't know, like like a scale, basically. Like you can't you can't balance it properly. Also, in the new year, we're going to be able to equip all of our exotic emotes on our D-pad. So you can press up to get your spicy ramen, or down to get your seasoning, your salty emote. So we're quite good, like. Rather than just having the usual like wave and sit down and dance, that's really not that good. Um, and obviously whatever emote that you equipped with that. So it'll be interesting to see how they've gone about doing that. So obviously there's are uh, some of the things coming in the new year and future updates. So now we're going to go into the December updates. So you know the ones that we really want to know about. So first of all, we've got the Masterworks. It's a new weapon tier. Now, what you can do with this is you can put different mods on, like for stat trackers. So, you can have one for the Crucible and I'm assuming all PvE events too. Now, I've actually got a picture of the Uriel's Gift, which is a very badass gun for Destiny 2. Um, and obviously, you can see the Masterwork weapon has a, like, a little perk next to the shader. And it says, this weapon generates orbs on multi-kills and displays the number of enemies defeated by using it. So now you'll gain orbs from killing enemies as well as having like a tracker for the weapon that allows you to see how many kills you've got from the weapon, which is cool. So it's a little bit like the kill tracker ghost. Like it'll show up your total, uh, your PVE kills and your crucible kills all at the same time. Which is pretty cool actually. This is probably the closest we're gonna get to like god rolls on weapons. Like they're not coming back, so they've kind of compensated by introducing the masterworks into the Destiny 2 game. Masterworks drops from any source of legendary weapons for characters above 250. Unwanted masterwork can be dismantled into materials that can upgrade an existing legendary weapon into a masterwork. And you can also obtain these quite highly doing raid and trials of the nine. So it would be more incentive to do the raid and more incentive to do the trials of the nine. Which again I still have not done yet so it would be good for me to try and get into that. Some great news for me is that we're having ornaments back for your armor sets, which is fantastic because you could only get these from doing raids and trials of Osiris. Like, and they would just make your armor pieces look a bit more like stand out and make them look cool and badass. Now, it was a real grind trying to get these because you had to complete certain challenges. 
Now it's going to be the same again in Destiny 2. There's going to be certain um, challenges for you to do that will unlock like little tokens. If you look in the background here, you can probably see. Now I'm assuming that Lord Shax and Lord Saladin will be the same sort of challenges like win 25 matches and then you'll get this um, like little ornament that you can put on your armor and it also looks like you can buy any armor that you're missing from the iron banner which is actually great for me because I've got the full set for my titan but I was missing the arms on my hunter and legs and bond for my warlock so I pretty much got the whole set but it was an absolute nightmare trying to hand in like a ton of tokens and getting absolutely nothing that I actually wanted it was so ragey like honestly the RNG for me I don't know if it was just me that was having problems trying to get all the armor but oh my goodness like it was so difficult absolutely a nightmare so if we got the option to buy it that would be awesome because then I'll have the whole set pretty easily winning 25 matches for me would probably be really difficult but I will give it a go, um, just so I can have the ornaments basically, because I'm a bit of a collector when it comes to sort of armour, not so much weapons but armour definitely, and if we can get the ornaments for them and they make them look even better, that's awesome, I'll be doing that. Now this is all going to be ready for the 5th of December, and you can also collect these ornaments from doing other activities such as like Vanguard Faction, Crucible Faction, Trials of the Nine, Iron Banner. Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, New Monarchy, and also Eater of the Worlds Raid. So, I don't know if it's going to be the existing Leviathan Raid, because I think you can get ornaments for that already, if you do the Prestige. I don't know if you're going to need to do, like, Prestige levels sort of stuff to get these sort of ornaments, but it'll still be worth going through it and doing the grind. So, we're having that grind back, which is fantastic, because it was definitely missing in the end game like I was literally only grinding because I wanted to collect stuff like it, it, I didn't need to collect it it's just something to do something to keep myself busy keep myself playing now if you see here too there's Lord Shax like there'll be certain things you can buy now with your legendary shards which is fantastic because I've got about 4,000 of them and because I'm not buying anything from Zer because he's only selling stuff that I've already got which is absolutely irritating as, you know, as, I don't want to say it, <clears throat> you know, but you get it, you get it, do you know what I mean, like, it's, it's so frustrating, him only selling that, and you're just collecting these legendary shards, like, you're waiting to spend it on a, something fantastic, but nothing ever comes, so it will make it a lot less of a grind to get these armor pieces now, because you can just purchase them, with your legendary shards and I think you need tokens as well so it'll be like crucible tokens or vanguard tokens you just hand in a few of those and you'll be able to buy the armor set that you actually wanted like for me the vanguard one is probably my least favorite because it's, it's just dull and boring and I'm hoping that with the, if we do get our ornaments for them that it actually spices them up a little bit makes them look a bit cooler because I'm definitely not digging what they're selling me, I'm sorry. While we're on the subject of Vanguard, actually, I want to talk a little bit about the Heroic Strikes coming back. Which is brilliant, because in Destiny 1, they had modifiers on them. So you would have, like, Solar Burn does extra damage. Obviously, it does damage to you, too, so you have to be careful. But it's a lot more of a challenge when you're going into strikes. At the moment, like, doing strikes is absolutely needlessly pointless. Like, there's no incentive to grind for a Vanguard Strike unless you do happen to really like the armor. But personally, I don't, so absolutely no need for me to do it at all. But with, obviously, Heroic Strikes coming back, I'm hoping they've got modifiers on them. I don't want the same ones that we had in Destiny 1. Maybe have a couple, but I want to see what new ideas they can bring to the Strikes, make it more of a challenge. Maybe have like a, a load lockout or something. Just something like that. I mean like you do with the Prestige Nightfall. You have like a load lockout. Or have like your super energy recharges faster. Or solar do does more damage. Or you know kinetic weapons do more damage etc etc. You get the picture. Obviously there's still no mention of strike specific loot. But 
with the fact that you can hand in Vanguard tokens to the vendor and get ornaments, maybe there's a challenge that allows you to do that and you can get an ornament for your armor. So there is that sort of grind to do it, even though there's no specific loot for it, which is, you know, it, it kind of weighs out the pros and cons on that one because it, it'd be quite interesting. And now there is that element of grind for the strikes to make it more fun and challenging for you. And lastly, we have Zer. Now let's check out what he's selling us. So, if you'll look, we have Fated Engrams. Now, as I said before, these are for collectors trying to get exotics that they don't have already. Like, this would have been absolutely useful for me because I was struggling to get the tractor cannon for ages and that was the last exotic weapon I needed. So this would be very handy for those who are struggling or who haven't played it in months because they just don't want to grind for it basically. So you can get this exotic that you've been missing. Now if you also look, there's a new exotic in the, the table. And it also has the Osiris symbol above it. So like it did in Destiny 1, there's symbols above each exotic and armor piece that was relative to the DLC. Now these look like hunter legs. Now to me, they kind of look like you're wearing tracky bottoms and trainers. And uh, that's just me. I don't know what the perk's going to be on them, but you can always speculate in the comments down below what you think they will be. And also we got three of coins back. Now with new exotics coming in, I think this will be quite useful. However, if we're going to have it so easy to get exotics like before, I don't know if this is going to be worth it after a few weeks once you've collected pretty much all of them so these might become redundant quite quickly it depends on the RNG I suppose now the three of coins work exactly like they do with the fire team tokens they last up to four hours now they cost legendary shards and you can collect to your heart's content so there's no limit on how many you can collect on this. So these are just some of the big updates that are coming towards Destiny 2 either in December, January or further on from that. So I am going to end the video there. Thank you so much if you've made it to the end. Please hashtag spread the love in the comments if you made it this far. Uh, I apologise if my voice sounds a bit croaky. I think I'm getting a bit of a cold. Also let me know what you're most looking forward to in the updates coming towards Destiny 2. And we'll have a little conversation see how well that goes. If you think that I've missed something or you didn't like this video, please let me know in the comment. Your feedback is much appreciated. Obviously, keep it constructive. Don't be like bitching at me, telling me I'm shit and stuff. That's not productive and it will not be helpful to me. If you did enjoy this video, please go check out my other videos and also like and subscribe if you feel that you want to do that. Also hit the bell next to it and you get a notification every time I post a video. So I'm going to say thank you once again so much from the bottom of my heart. Please take care, fellow Destiny Seekers.